Hello everyone, my name is Michael Kwan. I'm my company's interactive tactical group. It's a pleasure to be here with everyone. Uh, I'm gonna talk about our 3D mobile mapping project. Very quickly, uh, we've done a lot of interesting things. We've worked with some interesting technology. The one we're very excited about is EarthMine. It's 3D mobile mapping. So this is the EarthMine vehicle. Uh, we drove it around Washington DC around Thanksgiving. We drove probably four days. Uh, it features a stereo camera array GPS equipment and takes a 360 picture every 10 meters. What's interesting about it is the technology uh, allows us to uh, calculate XYZ data for every pixel that's captured. This is technology that's licensed from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's used on the Mars rovers. What does that mean? Well, the data is, is very uh, robust, uh, it's very dense, uh, it's very accurate, and you can do some interesting things with it. The equipment can be mounted on a vehicle, be mounted on a tricycle uh, contraption, and it can go where vehicles and uh, people can go. Like collecting images at set intervals. This is a map of the, uh, the coverage area. We did a, a approximately 500 kilometers of DC roads. Uh, uh, again, capturing a 360 image every 10, 10 meters. And the area in green is, is the coverage area there. Uh, I went online and I found this imagery that we captured. Uh, the geographic building outside on the other side of the street here, the flagpole is 23.44 meters tall. So you've got a 360 image that contains uh, lots of data. Uh, another close up here, this is a banner outside the building. This is a, it's, that banner's not there currently, but uh, we, we measured it at 6.4 meters. Uh, we can do some other interesting measurements here. Uh, so if you got out of your, uh, your, your air, nice air-conditioned vehicle and walked up to National Geographic, that would be 12.31 meters. This is more traditional, of course. Um, the, cities, the cityscape is just packed with lots of interesting stuff that needs to be fixed, maintained, repaired. Uh, this is a light pole. You can see up in the upper corner here, there are many tags for street furniture, lights, things like that. Uh, we can measure them. Of course, this data plays very nicely with ESRI. Uh, EarthMind is an ESRI partner, and uh, we're looking forward to collaborating uh, with them on maximizing the use of this imagery. Okay, so when you drive a vehicle like this around Washington, D.C., you have some interesting uh, engagements. We notified all the authorities as, as well as we could. Uh, the vehicle was stopped approximately four times in four days. Uh, again, the data allows you to measure objects and tag objects, whether they're moving or not. That uh, applications, uh, we're, we're still opening the lid on this, but uh, there's uh, property assessment, public works, infrastructure, public safety, homeland security, military, obviously. Uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of data about the built world here. One thing we're trying to do that's, uh, that's very exciting for us is to take our street level 3D data and combine it with aerial LIDAR. On the left, we've got a stereo uh, photo image of San Francisco, and on the right is aerial LIDAR of the city of San Francisco. We combine them together with software from our um, partners, uh, CG2, and we build basically a virtual 3D environment of, of, the, of the city. It's not models, it's the real thing. Um, so we, we look forward to driving the rest of Washington, D.C. Uh, fairly soon, hopefully in the, in the fall. Uh, if you see our vehicle oozing around, say hi, and we look forward to capturing you. And <laughs> thanks, to, uh, thanks to everyone, uh, WearCamp sponsors, presenters. It's a good time. Thank you.